Today, Kevin is going to be making a funnel cake. This is from Liberty Square in the Magic Kingdom. We've actually eaten a funnel cake from Liberty Square in the Magic Kingdom. This is from the unofficial Disney Parks cookbook, and this cookbook was mailed to us from Georgian. so thank you very, very much, Georgian. So Kevin's gonna take over, and he's gonna tell us what we need for this recipe. So it says you need four cups of vegetable oil for frying, whatever you want to fry. Well, you've got a pan over here with oil, I didn't put a lot in there because we're going to be making one at a time. As long as I can get under there with a pair of tongs and flip it over, it's fine. So just whatever you need to fry your um, your funnel cakes. Then you need um, one and a half cups of whole milk. You need two large eggs. Two cups of all-purpose flour. Two ta I mean, a one tablespoon of baking powder. It's a lot. It's also a lot of two tablespoons of ground cinnamon. Half a teaspoon of salt. And you need a half cup of confectionery sugar, powdered sugar, just for dusting. We use this like this sieve, this little basket, the, this little um, thing we put the powdered sugar in there and tap it, and it dusts really, really well. It does a good job. And you'll probably want some kind of uh, whisk, just to whisk it together. So basically, we've got our oil turned on to heat up. It says you want it about 375. If you've got um, one that will is temperature controlled, that's the best way to do it. If you got a temperature controlled. Uh, panned and that that's the way you want to do it. So I want to slide over a little bit for just a second So the first thing I want to do is is get my eggs and my milk just whisked together Break my eggs up and then add my milk and I'm gonna add this to my flour mixture and the only reason I'm doing this is I've got this little pour spout measuring cup that it works really well with uh, this kind of thing so I'm going to basically start adding this to my flour. Now they're saying it should be thin. That doesn't look very thin to me. That's thicker than pancake batter. I mean, that's thick. into that spout and then I just gotta wait for my oil to heat up so I'll be right back. Okay my oil's hot enough I've got my batter in my pour spout so I'm just gonna start in the middle. That's a thick batter. You can see it's even coming over the edge of the pour spout. leave it cooking for three minutes per side so I'm gonna get it just like a pancake I'm gonna wait till it's a little brown around the edges and pretty dry and bubbly kind of on the top and then get it uh, got my pair of tongs here I'm just gonna flip it over hey right, so it's ready to go so I'm just gonna get my tongs underneath here I'm just gonna flip it over oh yeah that looks nice okay it's been about another three minutes the so three minutes was about right so I'm just gonna take this out and I'm gonna lay it on this plate real quick and then while I get another one going. And then you want to take your powdered sugar, I've just got a plate here so it won't go everywhere, and pour it into your little basket net, whatever you want to call that. And we're just going to tap it. All right, this one's brown on the bottom. What I've been doing is just going up underneath of it and looking, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah. So just to let you know, I probably have enough batter to do probably two more after this one. So that, that's good. So... The first funnel cake dates back to 1879, where it was believed to have been cooked up by Pennsylvania Germans. Now, funnel cakes are not only a staple at theme parks, state fairs, and carnivals, but several countries have their own versions of the treats. I would like to know if what other countries' versions Different are. Flavors. Yeah, uh, the Liberty Square version keeping in theme with the rest of the square is an ode to the classic American serving style. So I have people that watch these videos from all over. I would like to know what is the different ingredient for your country. Or maybe they're made different. 
Yeah, yeah, please let us know because I'm very curious now. Um, it says mix it up. Try different toppings like chocolate sauce, fresh strawberries, or scoops of ice cream. Some funnel cakes are even served with a slab of ice cream. Mm -hmm. You can do this yourself by taking a frozen rectangular half gallon of ice cream immediately from the freezer and slicing through the block in a straight line. Plop, I can't imagine. Plop onto your hot funnel cake and you're good to go. I can't imagine eating that. It seems like it would get soggy. Um, I'm sure at Magic Kingdom they probably have funnel cakes where you can. Um, I know they have like when you go to the Liberty Square toppings. when you can get chocolate sauce. Okay. They'll, they'll take chocolate sauce and kind of like drizzle it over the top, or you can get fruit. I think they have pineapple and strawberry and all kinds of different things. I would never order mine with fruit. That's just the truth. Me either. I'm not gonna mix fruit with my dessert <laughs> unless it's in ice cream. Um, that is a a thicker, like a denser texture than I'm used to for funnel cakes. Well, Not bad. you said that it was a lot thicker than, that the batter it was thicker than I've ever made mm -hmm. before. I think if we made this again, we would add more milk. Just a little bit to thin it down mm -hmm. a little bit. Cause it was, even pouring, I've seen funnel cakes go before. Right. And they come out a lot faster. Mm -hmm. To where you move around and they're going shh. You know, it's yes. really, it's not this thick line, like ropey um, right. thing. It's a much thinner, cause these are pretty thick. Mm -hmm. And you want them kind of thick, cause you want them to puff up, but I don't think you want them that. No, that so in, instead um, of one and a half cups, I would use even one and three fourths. I put one and a half to start and then start just splashing a little milk in the hair a little bit at a time until it gets a little thinner. Cause I'd rather, it said it was thinner than pancake mix. This is thicker than pancake mix. Yeah, this this did turn out yeah. thick. But it's still really good. I do like the flavor. It's not as cinnamon as I thought it would be mm -mm. with that much cinnamon mixed in. Right. I thought it would be a lot stronger and it's not. Honestly, it's not as sweet as I thought it would be. Mm -mm. It's, no, it's, it's not as sweet It's, it's not uh, incredibly sweet. If you look though, it doesn't have a lot of sugar in it. No, it no. It has the confectioner sugar on top, but the actual recipe didn't have any sugar. No. So there's the only sweetness you're getting from it is the, the powder. Yes. Sugar. So for me, it it needs some sweetness. Yeah. I, I, I would, agree. I would like some sugar. Um, and, and we've done a funnel cake recipe on the channel before. Um, I looked uh, while we were making these, and it was like eight years ago. We did pumpkin spice funnel cake. I'm sure the quality was wonderful. Oh, I'm, I, listen, there's no talent because I, I didn't actually click on it and watch it. But I'm wondering if that recipe called for sugar because no. for me, this is good, but it does like sweetness. Yeah. Um, it's not as sweet as um, I get at a fair. Right, no, nowhere near as I don't think no. so. So I'm just wondering if it would be safe to go ahead and add some sugar to it, if it would ruin the fluffiness or anything know. if you There's did. There's tons I of mean, recipes online. Yeah. <laughs> but this one's a decent recipe. It's not bad. Out of the one the recipes that we've tried so far from this cookbook, this probably wouldn't be one that I would revisit. It's kind of plain. Because it is a plainer flavor. Mm. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video though, and thanks for watching.